launch eight courageous competitors on the ride of a lifetime. Ready? Take aim. Go! All they need to do is hit the bullseye. Yeah. Now, in the end, one will go home with fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Tonight, we're gonna hang our competitors from a helicopter and blast them with water from a jet boat. It's like a laundromat in the sky. Yeah. Hit that bullseye, baby. Whoa. So get ready. Take aim. Ah! It's gonna be really close. This is Bullseye. Oh! 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 I'm Kellen Lutz, and welcome to Bullseye. Yeah. Now, one of you will be going home with $50,000. Yeah. Now, remember, the rules are simple. All you need to do is hit the bullseye. I'm guessing some of you maybe have played on a rope swing as a kid. Yeah, yeah. with the tire, all that good stuff. Well, this one is going to make you cry like a baby. Now, my co-host, Godfrey, is at the bullseye to tell you how it's done. Godfrey, take it away. Thanks, Kellen. Listen, they're not only gonna be screaming like a baby, they're gonna need a diaper, too. Now, our competitors are gonna be hanging from this giant crane, and they will be dropped and swing over this bullseye. They have to drop their bullseye bomb as close to the target as possible. And at the top of the swing, they have a chance to grab a second bullseye bomb and come back down to drop it on the target. The two women and two men that are closest to the bullseye move on to the next round. The rest of them have to swing away with nothing. Back to you, Kellen. We're going to have the men compete against the men and the women compete against the women. The ladies go first. I'm Reagan, and I'm feisty, and I'm scrappy. I always get what I want, and today is going to be $50,000. I'm Doris. My competition better be ready for this fiery Latina. I compete in every aspect of my life, so these other competitors are going down. I'm Davina. I'm here to prove that big things come in small packages. I'm Catherine. I may be a security guard, but it's my competition that's going to need protection today. Now, we randomly select the order, and Catherine, you are first to take the plunge. All right, we're going to send you off to Godfrey. Get suited up. Woo! I think she's going to be a lot more afraid than she thinks she's going to be. She's going to overshoot she's the She's the first the one, so. She's definitely over. I think it's definitely a disadvantage to going first. Love all the support. I'm a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out. Security guard where? Like in a in a drugstore and a what? No, um, it's at a an amusement park. What um, crimes happen in an amusement park? There's actually a lot. Like um, what? Hey, don't be trying to steal these rides, yo. <laughs> no, don't try to crazy steal rides, stuff. man. There's indecent exposure. There's fights all the time. Do you break it up? What do you do? You use your voice. <laughs> you use your Stop. voice. <laughs> Stop it now. And then you go to force. I, <laughs> I am the prize. I am the prize. Let's go. She's up. I do it, Catherine. Go. Ready. Take aim. Squeeze. Goes home. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. She dropped it. She dropped it. Oh. Roll. She gonna get one. Oh. Oh. So close. Woo. So close. Yeah. And her bomb stopped on the red. That's a really good hit. Close. Yeah, I didn't think she was gonna get in on target at all. So Catherine's distance from the center of the bullseye was eight feet ten inches. She wasn't able to get a second bomb, so she better hope that that one attempt is close enough to move her on to the next round. She got on the red. It was supposed to be the yellow. Oh! Yeah. Kind of missed the bullseye. So, so you're gonna get the yellow? Darn skippy. Well, we're gonna send you off, Doris. You ready? All right. I'm looking forward to it. Go see Godfrey. So you're Latina. Yes, I am. Right. I am Cuban. Can I do it? Can I do it? Let's go. Whip a head. That's not too bad, right? Yeah. How was it? It was really intense. Yeah. But 
I surprised myself. Yeah, you got eight feet, 10 inches. Your bomb landed on the red, which, I mean, it's very impressive. Dora <laughs> says she's gonna get smack dab in the center of the bullseye. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm glad I went first, because if I saw that, I would have psyched myself out. <laughs> this is extremely high. The doors ready! There is the bullseye. Take aim! She talks the talk, let's hope she walks the walk. Sweet! Doors, hush, please! Bullseye bombs. She released the bomb right on target. Wasn't thinking about the roll. Oh, such a bad throw! So, Catherine, there you go. You're Just in the lead. Doris maybe needs to get some glasses because that's <laughs> definitely not the center of the bullseye. All right, Davina, you ready? I'm ready. Go get it. I'm do it oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Davina, <laughs> nice. Uh oh, look at that walk in there, huh? Wow, that was confident. I think it was like confident and a little crazy at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, are you like weird in any kind of way? Like, I have a dog and I have a six foot snake. Is the snake tried to eat your dog yet? Because no. that's what's going to happen. No, it's not. Well, how big is your dog? <laughs> My dog's like 45 pounds, but the snake knows you what? can't. What day you going to hear? <laughs> <laughs> they are separate. You're going to see your dog's body and the snake going. <laughs> wow. I don't know about the car for that. Did the center of the bullseye move? I mean, it did. What, what happened? I, in my head, it was like, I know it's going to roll, but not as much as it did. Not as much as it did. I know my own strength. Your distance is 35 feet from the center of the bullseye. Yeah? Wah, wah, which, wah. Yeah. We still have Davina and Reagan. The Hello. two women Hello. closest to the center of the bullseye move on to the second challenge. Catherine. Sir. If Davina gets further away than your distance, you're automatically into the second round. What I'm watching for. Davina! Yellow! Yellow, yellow. If yellow. she hits a bullseye after that hug, I'm gonna need one too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't get no hug. I cannot hugs. assist in any oh. one performance. Are you ready to do this? Yeah! Take aim! Yellow! Swing! Oh, jump! Oh, dropped it where? Oh. 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 Damn it! Vina's landed in the black. Congratulations, Catherine. You are moving on. <laughs> and Doris! Oh. Unfortunately, that is a closer distance yes. than yours. It so is. we have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I know oh. I get the hug. Oh. Not only am I out, but I'm the first one to go home. You did amazing, girl. Not my finest moments, folks. Not my finest moment. Dorothy, you're leaving me hanging. You're leaving me hanging. All right, Reagan, you're up next. Davina's distance was 17 feet, one inch. So if you beat that, you're moving on to the second challenge. If not, unfortunately, we have to send you home. So you think you're going to do it? I We'll see. No, yeah. Oh, I love you so sweet. I'm gonna send you over to Godfrey. Get harnessed up. I see these tattoos. What is this one? That's a chick. That's it's a, chick. a little You're chick. A chick. My nickname in my family is Little Chicken. <laughs> little Chicken? Yeah. Big the, things come in little packages. Oh, is that you? That's me. Okay. I don't talk big. You don't talk big. No, but then I'm like a surprise attack. Your actions. Exactly. Oh, right. So you like a crazy girlfriend. No. Yeah, Davina. You know what it is? Those hugs work. It ain't the yellow, hey. but. Hey, it's it enough to send Doris right now, home. It's send Doris home, baby. I'm yes. bringing it home for us. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm sorry. All right, Davina. Reagan has to land her bullseye bomb closer than yours in the black. See if she can do she's it. Getting if 20 not, feet. she's going home. She's getting 20 feet. Catherine, yeah. Davina, you're moving on to the second 20 challenge. 20 feet. All right, Reagan, you are last up for the ladies. Ready? I'm ready. Take aim. Swing. Oh, yeah. Here she goes. Oh, yeah. She's got good form. Oh, oh, oh. Reagan is about to swing down from 100 feet above the target. She 
She has to drop her bullseye bomb closer to the center than Davina's mark in the black. She's getting if 20 not, feet. She's, gonna gonna She's it. getting 20 feet. Catherine, yeah. Davina, you're moving on to the second 20 challenge. Feet. All right, Reagan, you are last up for the lady. Ready? I'm ready. Take A. Swing. She's in the red. So, Davina, I'm sorry. I must send you home with Damn. Thank you so wow. much for being a part Thank of the Bullseye Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. It was fun, and it's an awesome experience. And how many people get to do something like this? But I'm super competitive, so I'll be beating myself up for a minute. Bye. Reagan! Yes! Yeah. Give me some love. I mean, that was very interesting. I knew I was going to do it all along. I mean, <laughs> you did. So we're going to see you ladies in the second challenge, and we're going to see which two men will be joining you lovely ladies. <laughs> Man, you ready? Yes. yes. You ready? Go. Bring it. I'm Steve, and I'm a star tender, AKA all-star bartender. I'm a beast at everything I do. I'm Jay. My competition may think I'm an old man, but I'll be laughing all the way to the bank when I school these youngsters. I'm James. I live outside of my comfort zone. I am so fearless. I'll try anything once. I'm Carlo. I'm a computer nerd, so I'm gonna control, alt, delete the competition. Jay, you're up first. How you feeling? I have a plan and a strategy. Oh! <laughs> all right, Jay, I'm gonna send you over to Godfrey. All right. Say how you do. I'm actually gonna be interested to see if anyone's gonna actually get one of those bonus bulls. I want to. I want to get. I want to get two of them. If anyone's gonna get one, <laughs> it's like gonna be Jay. As many as you can. You look like kind of an ocean guy. I was a pro bodyboarder for 12 years, and, and uh, I surf too every day. What will be your strategy? Back in my college days, I student taught physical science. This is a science project. Okay. Right? All right. It's all about trajectory okay. and timing. So I'm gonna release it about three and a half seconds into the fall. Beautiful. Jay is getting hold up. Remember, after you drop your bullseye bomb, you'll have the opportunity to swing back up and grab a second bomb to drop on your way back down. And we'll count whichever is closer. Let, let's match the distance with his age. So what is that, 51? Like, <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Jay. All right, Jay, let's hang 10. This is the biggest wave I've ever ridden. Take aim, swing. There he goes. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Oh, he's turning. Oh. oh! Let's see if he can grab that second bomb. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Jay, Whew. that was a terrible Make strategy. A that's a, that's a <laughs> beauty right there. Wow, that was not good. I had a plan that I'm going to count down to three and a half seconds. Then I'm going to release that thing. On paper, it was perfect, but in practice, it just didn't pan out that way. Let's have a do-over! Carly, you ready to fly? Oh, hell yeah. I'm always been. All right, let's send you off to Godfrey to get all hoisted up. This is kind of crazy. Have you done anything crazier uh, than this? Anything else crazy in your I life? I own a motorcycle, okay. and I own a sports car. And I've been engaged three times. It didn't work out. <laughs> But yeah. you learned your lesson. You got the single life now. Yeah, I got the you single life. You got a life. race car. You got a motorcycle. You about to get 50 grand. I want the money. I, I, I need so some you money. you think if you get the money, you're going to get a wife? No, but it'll make me happy. So. It'll make you happy. It'll make me happy. You, you probably spent a lot of money on those rings. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jay, 30 feet, 8 inches. Carlos getting rigged up. Let's see if he can do better. Let's just end now. <laughs> I won. <laughs> All right, Carlo, you ready for some speed? I can see my house from here. Ready, take aim, swing. All right, Carlo's off. Missing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Carlo dropped the super early, but it bounced. He landed in the blue. Jay, you are on the chopping block. Come on. Look at his distance. He wasn't able to reach the extra bullseye, but he didn't need it. Woo! Steven. Good dog. We're going to send you off. All right. All see right. y'all later. 
Let's yeah. go. Mojo. Yes. Mojo, miss it. Oof. Miss it. What is beast mode? It's taking any opportunity, any obstacle, right. taking it over. See, look, my body, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm a creative mind and right. a perfectionist. Okay. This is my canvas, and I'm about to make it a masterpiece, you know? So let me show, show us your beast mode. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. Now it's saying shirt off. Oh. 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 Exactly. All right, free. ready? <laughs> my eyes. I guess that means something. Yes. Yeah. Let's we go, out. baby. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve gets further than 30 feet, 8 inches. We are sending him packing. Yep. He does better than 13 feet, 9 inches. Set by you, Carlo. He's automatically in the second round. No, you're destined for greatness, and you shall achieve it. Steven, here we go. Let's go, baby. Take aim. Swing. Yeah. Oh, drops it. My plan was to be aerodynamic, hence the haircut. And I wasn't even expecting to get up to the second one. All of a sudden, bang, bang, bang. Get hit in the face with the bonus bombs. Let's go, beast mode. So as we can see, Steve did way better than you, Jay. Thanks a lot. So Jay, yeah. unfortunately, we have to send you home. Thanks for being a part of Bullseye. Thanks, thanks guys, good luck. I'm pretty bummed out at how the day went for me, but I got to do something super cool, and everyone else my age was probably sitting in a desk in front of a computer. So it's a win any way you slice it. Bang, bang to the competition. Steve's still talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's still good. He's posing. <laughs> I hope he puts it's his fine. shirt back on. All right, James, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to send you off to Godfrey. All right. Get some. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> OK, you're from Detroit. I am. And I'm looking at you get up, man. <laughs> and you look, you're dancing. Yeah. You're like, yeah. you're dancing. <laughs> Show me a little something. And it's just, a, you know, it's just more about dance with your heart. Like, okay. All right. you know, like, you, right. you have to feel it and really, like, you know, really be into it. You're yep, right. So okay. it doesn't matter how you dance as long as it's, like, from the heart. As long as it's from the heart. <laughs> so you just, yeah. So Ooh, you know, a little like... funky moving. So this is from the heart, right? Yeah. OK, yeah. yeah. Confidence yeah. prevails. <laughs> Well done. Yes. I love your confidence. I, I love, love it. it. I love and, it. And you know, people, people mistake it for cockiness sometimes, but I'm Man, just so confident. If you confident. show up, then it's confidence. I'm so confident. And you have to be confident in anything you do. Your distance Let's go. is the best of the day. It's okay. six feet, six inches. Yes, so, I love I mean, it. congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are joining Catherine, Reagan. Yes. We're going to see On to the next. who On survives, the next. James or Carlo. Oh, the hot seat. Carlo, if he gets. No, in not the red. He's not. He's Send not. Home. I'm gonna blow their minds. <laughs> All right, James, you ready to do this? I was born ready. Take aim. Swing. Right up. James released. Oh, it's on. Oh, oh, what? All right, James, you ready to do this? I was born ready. Carlo, if he gets. No. In not the red. red. He's not. He said you all. It all comes down to this. Last one. Let's go. Take aim. Swing. James release. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, oh, no way. He dropped that one way too early. I can't watch this. Now James absolutely has to grab another bullseye bomb if he doesn't want to go home. Oh. Wow. Oh. I, I wasn't looking. What happened? Jay you went ahead and chance. Chance. He dropped oh it and it God. stopped. Now, he wasn't even close to the target, which means, Carlo, you're moving on. Uh, I really thought I had it figured out. I had a plan. My adrenaline must have been racing because I was just like, I'm going over the bullseye. I'm going to drop it. But it just didn't work out this time. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Now, one of you is about to go home with $50,000. But before that, for our second challenge, we're gonna put you through a crash course. Okay. Come with this. Wait, what? Crash course? In your first challenge, you had to get as close to the center of the bullseye as possible. This time, it's all about how many bullseyes you can get. And for this one, we're gonna shift gears. <laughs> because usually here on Bullseye, we work with boats, trains, and helicopters. 
But today, we're gonna put you behind the wheel of a limited edition custom ride. Hey, kids! Oh, <laughs> yes! Dude! Oh, that's no. What's up, everybody? I'm the cheap version of Mad Max. I'm the TJ Mad Max. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna have to smash through as many bullseyes as you can with yeah. that go-kart. <laughs> now, my man Godfrey is ready yes. to put you in the driver's seat. baby. Godfrey, take it away. I hope these people have insurance because this is gonna be a full head-on collision in this cart. Now, the contestants are gonna be towed around the course behind our busy soccer mom as she races to do her errands. They have to steer the cart and hit as many bullseyes as possible while dodging soccer balls. The three competitors that hit the most bullseyes move on to the final challenge for the chance to win $50,000. The losers get carted off with nothing. Now we randomly select the order, and Reagan, you're first to get behind the wheel. I'm not stoked to be first, but I'm excited to go. I'm gonna send you over to Godfrey. Okay. First up is Reagan. This quirky hairstylist is here to prove that big things come in small packages. I'm a limbo champ. I'm really flexible. All my life, I've been good at sports, but people don't really expect that. You know, you said big things come in small packages, right? right? Yep. So you know what you got to do here? I'm just not going to overthink it. Right. You're just yeah. going to do it. Just going to do it. Take aim! Roll! All right. She's off! All right, let's go and see this. Let's see how aggressive she is in this crash course. I got you, bullseye. Got one! <laughs> Missed on the left. Line herself up for the third. Oh, she oh, missed no. it, but is right on target for the fourth. The soccer balls are flying. Looks like she's doing a good job avoiding them. Coming up on the next target. Again. That's four. Come on. She's having a lot of trouble with the ones on the left. Now she missed the one on the right. Wow. Six. Six. She's got to get as many of these last targets as she can. She got all three at the end right there. Good job, wow. Reagan. Oh, you tore it through is. that course. Yes, she is. I mean, how was that limited edition custom ride? Wow, I am I still have a healthy fear of soccer moms. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got nine bullseyes. That's great. Thanks. Steve, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Get in the driver's seat, do your sliding and driving and grooving and moving. Flex your chest. We have tons of cameras in there. There you go. Do that in the driver's seat. <laughs> All right, get on your way. All right. Get you suited Please. up. Put a shirt on. I, I don't think he ever will. No, I don't uh, think he owns one. Next up is Steve. When this bartender isn't entertaining a crowd, he likes to take time to meditate. Thoughts will come and go, but you constantly push them out and go back to complete emptiness, deep breathing techniques, just honing in on your spirit and the world around you. you no, know, you have been without your shirt. Oh, uh, you're the... You it came off, so I was naked. like, yeah. I can't go back on and, <laughs> and put it on. And you seem to enjoy it. You're going to be in there with your shirt off again, right? Yeah, of course. You know That's what, I mean? what I'm talking about. This is why I don't get no road rash. Visualize. Believe. Achieve. It's like a mom. Take aim! Throw that, baby. All right, the van's off. All right, Steve's going. Yeah. All right, swerve it right. Hit it right. Hit it hard. All right, here he goes. Straight through. He's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. No. I missed that one. Now the balls are coming out. He missed two. Oh. He missed oh. another one. Oh. Looks like he's having a lot of trouble controlling the car. Oh what is happening to Steve? Oh wow. Oh, I got that one. Straight through. He's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. No. I missed that one. Now the balls are coming out. He missed two. Oh. He missed another one. What is happening to Steve? Oh, wow. All right, got two. Come on, Steve. Three. Three. All right, now he's getting a feel for it. Missed that other one. He only has three. No, he's swerving, trying to get him. All right, got four. Oh, wow. You missed another one on the right side. Five. Five. Six. Seven. All right, here's the three one. 
Where I thought I went wrong, it was basically at the last part. I was aiming for the middle when I should have been aiming towards the left a little bit because I knew the car was gonna tug me to the right. So I would have like knocked off all three. What are you gonna do? I live in the now. Rossi! Oh. Yes, sir. How are those crazy cars? Oh, man. <laughs> that was crazy, dog. All right, well, let's get to it. You wanna know how many bullseyes you got? Reagan, you had nine bullseyes. Steve? You got nine bullseyes, wow. which means wow. to break the tie, we wow. go to who got the most bullseyes in a row. And Reagan, you got the last three, which means you are moving on to wow. our third round. Steve, you only got two consecutively, so you're oh, on the yeah. bubble right now. So you're still safe. All you have to do is beat one person, and you're moving on to the third round. All right. But Reagan, Reagan, you're getting emotional. Oh, hell. I'll take hugs. It's all you. You're the one who did it. Right, yeah. Good job. We have Carlo next. This is like right up my alley, so uh, I'm pumped. Our next contestant is Carlo. This computer geek and car enthusiast is here to show the world to never underestimate the power of a big brain. Working with computers day to day, a lot of people think I'm not athletic. I'm here to change that perception. I have a motorcycle, I have a race car. A lot of people always underestimate us and I'm gonna bring that to the table today. You know what I noticed, man? You got the jeans on. You don't have, everybody has athletic clothing. The fact that you're doing it in jeans says, hey man, I'm gonna get that money and put it in my pocket. So I, right I had to come with some pockets. Exactly. That's hilarious. I noticed that. I was like, he has jeans on. Steve just went, no pockets, so how is he gonna take home the money? You know what I mean? And I still got change over here for leftover, you know? Ooh! Oh, you just made it drizzle. Wasn't rain, but it was <laughs> that, That's for Steve. He can pick that up later. So you come home with a 50. So I'm just saying. You ready to do this, Carlo? Hell yeah, let's go! All right, put your visor down. Roll it! All right, the fans off, Carlo's off. Starting to find his swing. All right, he's coming right. up for the first one. He got the first one. He's steering to the other side of the court. Go for the second one, got the second one. Now those soccer balls are coming out. Almost lost control. Wow. He has not missed one yet. You think those soccer balls got anything on me? Carlo is steering the car to the right to get into position. Now the fifth one! Drift! Drift this! Drift! Six! Seven! Wow, he's crushing this course! All right, finally missed one. I can't see it. Nine! Oh, he missed another one! Now the last three targets. He got ten! Um, it, it's harder than it looks. About midway through the track, one bullseye was just stuck. It's that blindness that got me off my line, and getting back to that line, it was a little daunting, but was able to get everything that I needed to get. You got 10 targets, so congratulations. You're moving on to the third and final yeah. challenge. You are one step closer to reaching that $50,000. We have one left, Catherine. If you beat nine bullseyes, Steve goes home. Now the pressure's on. I know what number I need to beat. Go do it. Let's see what you got. Our final contestant, Catherine, is active and loves the outdoors, but she gets a little too much of it. She's carless and has to walk to work every day. When I win that $50,000, what I plan to do with that money is buy a car. I sold my car to move back to California from the Midwest. You're a competitive person. And, you know, Steven, Naked Man. Yeah. You know, I heard you have like a little rivalry going on with him. I just really want to buy him a shirt. <laughs> he needs to put a shirt on. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Close your visor. Take it. Roll out. Van is off. Catherine's going. Let's see how she does. Go, Catherine. Catherine needs to beat nine in order to move on. She missed that first one. Look she good. can't get to the left of the second one. Oh, she's missing oh. these. Catherine's having trouble Look steering. Good. Oh, oh, she wow. missed two. Oh, she got one. Oh, it's stuck to her windshield. That's going to make it hard for her to see. All right, that's three, four. She is not swinging. She is not drifting too well. Oh, oh, oh. She got 
Another one. It's gonna be close. Let's go, Cap. Let's go, Cap. All right, she's coming up to the last target. Let's go, Cap. Wow. Good job, Catherine. It's the moment of truth. Woo! Catherine, welcome yeah. back. What is going through your head right now? I don't know how I did. I'm like, you're shaking. Yeah, I'm stressed you're, right you're, now. You're stressed. I am. I'm you're nervous. focused. So, moment of truth between Steve and Catherine. Oh my God. We have Carlo and Reagan already moving on to the third challenge. Now, Steve. Yeah. He had nine. That's the number to beat. Let's go. Catherine. Yeah. You got nine. Wow. Which means it's a tie. <laughs> We're going to the tiebreaker. And for that, we go down to who got the most consecutive hits. Now, Steve, you had two. <sighs> Catherine. You had four. Wow. 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 Oh, my God. You're moving on to the third and <laughs> final. Oh, my you are, God. You are a sweetheart. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Steve. <laughs> Behold. You all gave it your best. I mean, congratulations oh for everyone. Steve, unfortunately, awesome. you didn't get enough in a row, so you've been eliminated. It was a pleasure, man. Yeah. Best with everything. Get it. Hey. Obviously, as a competitor, it sucks to lose, but I'm just living in the moment, living in the now, like I preach. At least the world got to see this. You're welcome. Congratulations, everyone. This is it. Woo! You're yeah! on to the final challenge. And one of you will be going home with $50,000. You proved that you can handle yourself on the road. Now we're going to see how you manage being airborne. What? <laughs> Come with me. Wow. Welcome aboard the historic Lane Victory Ship for your final challenge. Yeah! Now, one of you will be going home with $50,000. In your first challenge, you had to get as close to the center of the bullseye as possible. Your second challenge was all about how many bullseyes you could get. Now, this one, it's all about speed. <laughs> for this one, we're hanging you out to dry. From this. Yeah! While being blasted by that! Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome to your third and final challenge. <laughs> what is it? For this one, we're hanging you out to dry. From this. Nice! Yeah! Whoa. By that! Oh, <laughs> Godfrey is standing by with the spinning ball of doom. That'll be your ride through the sky. Godfrey! Thanks, Kellen. Now, for our final challenge, our competitors will be clinging on the outside of this transparent ball hanging from a helicopter. Now, they have to maneuver around the outside of the ball and remove all six targets from it while being blasted by a jet of water from a speedboat below. The water is gonna cause the ball to spin out of control. Once they release the last target, the helicopter will turn around and it will head for the final bullseye where they will have to jump off at exactly the right time to stop the clock. The competitor with the fastest time wins a boatload of cash, $50,000. Now the rest of them will be shipped out with nothing. Back to you, Kevin. This is it. Yeah. yeah. Now we randomly selected the order. And Reagan, you are first up. All right. All Thank right. you. This Good way. luck. Thank you. Since this is like the final challenge, yeah. right? You got a war cry for me? <laughs> Wait, wait. What? Is that a sort of exotic bird? It's that was. Small but mighty, right? All right, here we go. Reagan is on the spinning ball, too. I love that name. Now remember, the helicopter will be flying away from the final bullseye landing zone. 
So the longer it takes you to release the bullseyes from the sphere, the further away from the finish line you'll be when the helicopter turns around. I'm nervous just for her. There's so much wind from the rotor wash. Oh, wow. All right, here we go! All right, the clock has started. Looks like one. she got one. Make your way around the spinning ball. No, pretty two. good. That's two. She is getting hit hard by that water. Though. Yeah. It is spinning. It's like a fire hose. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's three. three. All right, she held on. Oh, she's getting wrecked wow, by that water. Wow. Oh, it's so to spin. She got four. Oh, she got five. It's getting harder and harder to hang on, it looks like. It's her last one. I think she has it. Oh, she got wow. it. Now she's got to hold on. The helicopter's wow. going to take her back to the bullseye. She'll have to time it right and hit the bullseye. Here we go. She has to time her jump. Oh! She didn't jump. Now she has to wait for the helicopter to make another pass at the final bullseye. She's wasting precious time right now. She doesn't want to let go. Oh, she almost wow. slipped. All right, time. Wow. All right, after watching what Reagan just did, what is going through your heads? You guys have a strategy going on? I haven't, but I'm not going to share it. <laughs> I exactly what's going on in my head. Well, um, then this conversation's over. <laughs> <laughs> when the helicopter took me over the target the first time, it was the angle. It felt like I wasn't directly over the bullseye or something, and I didn't want to fall in the water. Reagan, your time was 1 minute, 52 seconds. OK. Congratulations. Thank you. Catherine, you're up next. All right, thank you. So has any of your family members given you advice? Yeah, uh, my mom, she's my biggest supporter and she knows how competitive I am. <laughs> she sent me a video of her like with a sign that was like, be small, oh. take home the money. <laughs> All right, Catherine's up. Get deep. Get this. Get this. Catherine's on the spinning ball of doom. Let's see how she does. All right, the clock has started. She got one. dragged around by a minivan, and I got to hang from a helicopter. You don't experience that in life. I feel lucky that I got to do it. Your time was 1.14. Oh, wow. You sent Reagan packing already. Oh, shaking. Congratulations. You are shaking. Yeah, hanging on <laughs> for my dear life. So 1.14, Carlo, you think you can beat it? I'm going to go for a minute flat. This is it. All right, Catherine, man. Carlo, remember, 1.14. Yeah. $50,000. Still. Okay, Carlo is up. He's got to release the six bullseyes and make it back to the landing zone in under a minute 14. For Catherine, the 50 grand is yours. Oops. That's the horn. Carlo is off. All right, he got one. He got 
The helicopter will take him back to the landing zone and stop the clock. One more to go. Oh! Oh, wow, that Whoa. was a save. That was a he save. He almost fell off. All right, got the last one. Got to hold on. Make his way back to the bullseye. This is going to be close. Yeah, it is. It really is. Oh, he's behind the ball, though. That's going to take some extra time. He's repositioning himself. He's over. Time! I don't know. He took some time with that landing. When I slipped, I had a freak out in my mind. Thankfully, I gripped my controller so hard when I play video games. I had a hard grip on the platform. The whole thing kind of swung back toward me, and I kind of swung back towards the platform, so I was able to get my foot back on the platform. Good job, brother. Good job. This is awesome. Nicely done. Catherine, your time was 1 minute 14 seconds. Carlo, your time was 1 minute 6 Seconds. Carlo, congratulations. Yeah. You have won the $50,000. Yeah. We swung you from a giant crane. You had to smash through bullseyes with our crazy go kart. And you survived our super soaker in the sky. Yeah. Catherine, thank you so much for being a part of no, Bullseye. No problem. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. You're going home with the $50,000. You nailed the bullseye. Congratulations! Yes! 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 Woo! yes! yes!